How's it going here, future voters of Sean Gannon, future president of the United States of America? And we got another beer review. We got the Boom Sauce Double IPA right there by uh, Lord Hobo. The Lord Hobo. All right. Let's pour it here. I have a little plastic glass that looks like a real glass. Link in the description in case you like it. I like them. And it's a little Amazon affiliate link if you click that. Uh, support this channel. All right, boom sauce pours out nice, nice light color than I expected. Let's read what they say online. It's a double IPA. It's a 7.8% alcohol by volume, pretty heavy. There is nothing subtle about our flagship beer. Boom sauce is a bold, big and bold IPA with a complex hop profile. With different hops, it hits you with strong tropical fruit flavors before mellowing out to finish with a hint of earthiness. Interesting. Each subsequent taste opens up the dynamic layers of complexity woven throughout this beer. Imagine fresh pressed fruit without the sweetness. Perfect for that Saturday afternoon pick me up or a late night gathering of friends. Basically, they say it's perfect everywhere. The hops here Warrior, Amarillo, Ella, Mosaic, and Falconer's Flight. I've never seen Falconer's Flight before. Pilsner, Planet, Red Wheat, Spelt, Oat Malt, and oat, Flaked Oats are the malts there. Uh, taste should be tropical fruit, citrus, aroma, tropical fruit, pine, and sweet. Appearance, golden, slightly hazy. I would agree with that. And there we go. Boom Sauce IPA there for you. All right. Smell. Interesting. The smell here, I don't smell much hops. Look some... It doesn't smell like it's going to be a heavy, strong beer. I got a little sweetness in the smell. And I'm getting the pine. But that's about it. It's not, like, overwhelming. Let's see, we'll see what happens here. Hmm. More bitter than it smells. But not too bitter, actually. Sometimes with these double IPAs, since they make them really strong, they counteract that with the extra hops, but... I am not getting this. This is, ironically, it's one of those double IPAs that I would say is on the lighter side of a double IPA. It's still more strong than a normal IPA, but it's definitely... There's some double IPAs that I've had that are just too much. This is on the so lower spectrum of what you would call a double IPA. Mm. Mm. I'm getting those pine notes that they mentioned there. I'm getting the pine notes. What's the other thing they mentioned that should be getting? Complex woven. I think a lot of beers say that. Um, tropical fruit and citrus. Am I getting that? Yeah, I'm getting a little bit. I mean... Yeah, there's some citrus flavor to it. Uh, I wouldn't call it a citrus beer by all means, but there's a slight little bit in there. The color is not what I expected. I expected a darker beer, a uh, darker browner, but this golden color looks nice. Um, but it does, yeah, it mentions it needs a sweet flavor and it does have a little sweetness to it, which again, surprising of a double IPA. So I would categorize this as a double IPA that is not a double IPA. And that's, if that makes sense. It says it's double IPA. I don't doubt it is. Uh, but I don't think that's taste like a double IPA. So uh, not super bitter or anything like that. Like if you didn't tell me it was one, I wouldn't have guessed. I would have said, eh, it's a kind of a strong IPA. That's it. Not like this big double one. Anyway, good beer. Uh, I like most beers I like. I do like double I. Uh, double IPA sometimes get too strong for me. But this is not as strong, so I'd like that. And the name Boom Sauce. I mean, who doesn't like the name Boom Sauce? Uh, if you do, let me know down below. So, all right, I'm going to give this one a um, 4 out of 5. I think it's a good beer. So I get a 4 out of 5 for my ranking here. And I will see you, I guess, next time I have another beer and decide to make a review on it. This is Sean Gannon signing off.